Reflections are crucial for achieving a realistic and accurate visualization of your design. In your images, windows, mirrors, shiny lacquer on a wooden floor, many materials we come across have an extra layer of complexity through their shine and reflectivity. Lumion comes with three types of reflections, each with its own specific purpose that will help you achieve those stunning images your clients want. The fundamental type of reflections are projected reflections, which Lumion calculates by default. The result is super fast and suitable for the things that happen in the background. You don't need to do anything to turn them on. They are like that by default. However, you can take things one step further. Some projects require an extra touch, like this summer kitchen with its timber clad ceiling and natural stone floor. Add the reflection effect and enable speed ray reflections. This simple toggle button allows materials with reflectivity and gloss to reflect the environment. This creates a much more accurate and defined reflection on any surface. The three buttons below the toggle adjust the quality of the speed ray reflections in the preview. For best performance while editing, make sure to switch them off. But if you're looking for higher reflection accuracy in the preview, you should keep them on. Let's zoom in a bit to see the differences in quality settings more closely. Now, on to the star of the show, planar reflections. These are the most accurate and realistic reflections that Lumion has to offer, but can also be the most demanding in terms of performance. This is because Lumion has to render the entire scene for each plane you add to get that perfect result. However, if you use these sparingly and only when needed, you shouldn't see any major difference in rendering times. To add planar reflections, click the Active Planes button, then Add Plane, and click on a surface. You'll notice a couple more options here. The Delete button underneath a plane allows you to delete it. The bin on the right-hand side erases all reflection planes once double-clicked. The Wand button automatically detects all reflective surfaces and adds the reflection planes for you. Lastly, the plane margin slider allows you to offset the depth that the reflection plane covers. Say you have a glass window with a five centimeter thick frame made of shiny white metal. If you place the reflection plane onto the glass and adjust the plane margins to two and a half centimeters, the plane will also calculate the reflections for the frame. In this way, you avoid adding two reflection planes, saving you more time and resources. Similar to speed ray reflections, you can enable or disable the planar reflections in the preview. You should definitely check out the new streetscape example scene in Lumion 12.3. This scene really shows how reflections should be used in a project. We're all looking forward to seeing the amazing stuff you'll create. Follow me over to this video and I'll show you how to populate a scene that your clients will want to step into and live in. I'll see you there.